Hi, I'm just making a quick video about the Project Loon balloon that I think the uh, the guys at Corridor were looking at. And I think Sam was certainly onto something because Project Loon does operate in that area. They launch balloons nearby. Um, if you go, if you Google the Loon collection, you'll get this website where after they canned uh, the Loon project, they did release a huge archive of data. Um, there's tons of information here. I'm just going to skip on past it, but at the bottom under data sets, you can get all of the telemetry data of every flight they ever recorded, which is really cool. If you jump into this, you can, uh, there's, there's some information about how, it, how the data is laid out in this PDF, uh, this readme here. But you can see it, you know, it contains, each flight has a unique identifier, uh, when it happened, the latitude and longitude, the various altitude at different points and all the sensor readings. And we know from the corridor video, I think it was in June of 2020, so if you scroll through these data sets, you can see they're set by year and quarter. So you can just go down to uh, 2020 Q2, and this is a CSV, comma separated values. It's kind of like a really basic spreadsheet. Uh, so you grab this file, and in it are all those coordinates. And I'm gonna spare you all the technical details, but I took that file, I stripped out uh, only the, uh, the, the, the data points that happened during about a 10 to 12 hour area around when that video was taken. Um, so I stripped out only those flights and then I created paths for all those flights in Google Earth. I used a, a, another tool called uh, GPS Visualizer. Um, I think it's this site right here. This, I use this site where you can upload uh, CSVs and convert them into KML files and they create a path. So let's jump to the money shot. This is my Google Earth project, very basic. I have the path of two of the, in, the, the, you know, the, the ones that matter. And I have the vantage point of the photographer here that was provided in the corridor video. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, these, these took off, uh, I guess, at one of the Project Loon facilities uh, in Nevada. This is the takeoff point and then it headed out this way. And from the vantage point, there's actually two balloons that would be visible from where he was standing uh, one of them would have been, uh, and by the way, each of these is at like 60,000 feet. Um, I'm not sure how to pull up the altitude data on the like web-based Google thing, but in the app, you can see the altitude data. And, uh, but they're about 60,000 feet. Uh, so the, the red one, which is LN212, would be directly overhead. He'd have to be looking straight up at the sky, which he's not. He's looking out to the southwest, I think uh, Nico said. So actually what he's looking at is about over here. Um, so, but he can see that this is a, a clear, clearly what it was. Um, and I'll just take a moment to pull up the image that I have. Um, it's in here somewhere. Here we go. Let me just pull this over to my other window. I took this in Google Earth earlier. So this is actually in the first person view at the photographer's viewpoint or like a few feet back. And I also kind of messed around with the night sky to get it sort of looking like it did in the video, not really. So this path is from right to left, so it would have traveled this way, and then there's a bit of a zigzag or corkscrew effect going on here, I think, as it changed altitudes, and then continued further to the left. Um, I lack the technology to uh, <laughs> overlay the video, but I'm pretty sure that was the path it took. We only saw some clips in the corridor video, but it looked to me like it, there was a little bit of a jog going on, and then it headed over to the west. Um, so yeah. There you go. Uh, I don't think it was aliens. I think it was the, that exact loon flight. Now, there are lots of balloon flights that are not Google Project loon flights. I think it's just it's just funny that I guess they just guessed or Sam knew that it was a, uh, a Project loon flight. But yeah, nailed it. Um, but there you have it, folks.